Hola, buenas noches. Good evening, buenas noches. Good evening. ¿Cómo Good evening. están? Good. ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? Bien, bien. Bye. Qué bueno. Solamente permítanme arreglar la ventana. Un minuto, por favor. Okay. Um, do you remember yesterday's class? What was that? What was the topic about? Uh huh. Place and thing. Place, places and things. Places and thing. In compound nouns, uh -huh. yes. What else do you remember? What else do you remember? The name of place, or for example, zoo, restaurant, church, mm -hmm. and supermarket, bank, mm -hmm. and the compound nouns is the 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 union. From of two words. Ah, okay. Excellent. Give me some example of compound nouns. A post office, gas station, mm -hmm. restroom, a restaurant. coffee shop, a drugstore, a bookstore, a okay. department store. Okay. Excellent. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, today's topic is going to be about prepositions of places. So we have been discussing about places, the charge, the apartment store, okay, post office, library, all of those places. And today's topic is going to be about prepositions of places. Prepositions of places. When we talk about prepositions of places, we need to know uh, some specific words, okay, for uh, related to prepositions. For example, one of the common ones is turn left, okay, turn left. This is my left hand, okay. Okay, let me see, yeah. The video is being recorded, great. That's turn left. The opposite, turn right. This is my right, turn right, turn left, turn right. Okay, in El Salvador decimos, um, allá la par del, del árbol, verdad? Pero no especificamos qué tipo de árbol. Okay. O dicen el portón negro. ¿A dónde queda tal lugar? En el portón negro. Y nos encontramos un montón de portón negros. Entonces, en inglés es diferente. Porque la cultura de ellos acostumbran a usar ese tipo de preposiciones. You have turn left, turn right, go up, go up, go up, and go down. Okay, that's another one. Go down. Okay, turn left, turn right, go up, go down. Okay, um, you also have blocks. What's the meaning of blocks? Blocks, cuadras, blocks, cuadras, okay? You need to go up two blocks or you need to go down three blocks. Okay. You also have across the street. Across the street. In front of.
in front of let me see okay those are the most common ones the most common um prepositions of places that we have in english okay so what i want you to do is to take notes about other prepositions that we have in English, and then we are going to try to give directions. I'm going to show you how to give directions and how to ask for directions in English. So let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. I think it's loading. If you are able to see it, just, you know. Yes. Yes, sure. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So there you have some other prepositions in front of in front of and there you have on the right side you have the translation okay um the next one jose riberto help me with the next preposition in the middle night in the middle in the middle in the middle, in the middle. gabriel in next the between between next uh, alejandro behind behind perosly under mm -mm. next to no oh disculpe disculpe Next to. Thank you. Uh, Je uh, Jenny, continue. Beside. 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 Okay. Continue, please, Edwin. Bye. Yes. Nelson. On the right. On the right. Yes. Median. In. Yes. Liliana, next. Inside. Inside. Uh, Tiffany, next. Leticia. Uh, on. On. Okay. Uh if you if your camera is working, please turn it on. Okay. Thank you. Griselda next. Si funcionan las cámaras, enciéndanlas por favor, porque es un requerimiento por parte de la institución. Okay, Griselda next. Marcos next. Over. Mark, yes. Uh, Elisa. Above. Above. Claudia. Under. Under. Erica. Under. <coughs> Below. Below. Okay. So those are some prepositions of places. Now let's focus on the platform. We're going to see some other examples. And once you can see the platform, just let me know, please. Can you see the platform? 
Yes. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Alrighty. Now let's listen to this video. Take notes if you wish. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is 2nd Avenue Bookstore? 
where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, show you the next slide. I'm going to go ahead and share with you uh, this page, I mean, this picture in which you are going to be able to see the places and you will able to answer those questions as well. But we're going to do it later. In the meantime, let's move to the next uh, part, which is the knowledge check. And it says, look at the map and listen to the, to the audio program to answer the questions. There you have the first question, where are they going? Second question, where are they going? The third question, where are they going? Four, where are they going? Okay. There you have one of the picture. And by the way, let me go ahead and place this page as well related to places because we're going to provide the directions once we finish with this activity. Okay, you ha there you have the second screenshot related to places. And let me go ahead and play this audio. Let's see if it works from here. Otherwise, we need to open from the arrow. I think it's loading. Once you can listen to it, just let me know, please. Can you listen to the audio or not yet? Not yet. No, Page 89, exercise six, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks.
Okay. The number one. Where are they going? The bank. To the bank. Number two, where are they going? Restaurant. Mary's restaurant. Mary's restaurant. Okay. Number three, where are they going? Uh-huh. Look the department store. Okay, I look the department store. store. And the last one, what are they going? Favorite, Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maria's <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number one is the second one. Number they three. This Number two is Maria the drugstore. Drug Davis Davis drugstore. Drugstore. Let's see. There you go. Mm. Maria. Excellent. Maria okay. Let's move to the next one. It says, by, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and give directions. Additionally, you will practice conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen to this conversation. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me ma'am. Can you help me? Excuse me. How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire Avenue? Guys, if you are not using the microphone, turn it off, please. Let's play it one more time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on turn right on, 
on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions. Walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up 5th Avenue or go up 5th Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down 5th Avenue or go down 5th Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library. For that, we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So, to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So, what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So, in this case, it's on the left. Now, it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Okay, let's continue. It says, listen to, to the audio program to answer questions. There you had the first question. Where can the woman get stamps? Next question. What do they need? Question number three. What is the gas station? Question number four. How can the woman get a restaurant? I think it's loading. Once you can listen to, let me know, please. Units 13 to 14 progress check. Page 98. 
Exercise 1. Listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. 1. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters, and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. Three. Excuse me, is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's check. Number one, where can the woman get stamps? I got at the drugstore. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, number two, what do they need? I have they need drinks. Do you agree? Yes. 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 Number three, yes. what is the gas station? I on have the corner on, of my, on the corner of my office. On main and first. Do you agree? Yes, yes I agree. La and primera the last, no teacher. The last yes. one. How can the woman get a restaurant? I have go up the street for two blocks and turn left. She can use the restroom at at the restaurant. Do you agree? Yes. 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 No. Who said no? No, el, la primera no es esa, creo. Are you sure? No es correctas. It's correct. No es yes. It's correct. Okay, let's check. Yay! Thirty-four out of 34 okay awesome and the last one says by the end of the class you will develop skills and reading for details and making inferences but right now we're going to practice a little bit the directions let's see if you have here i mean if you see here we have different places can you see them Yes. Yes. All right. No. Okay. It's no okay. yet. It's all right. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, let's play it then. What happened to this thing? Okay. Let me try one more time. Oh, there you have. There you have the places here. Here you have the bank. Okay. The bank and you also had the cafe. And you also have here a bakery. The bank and the cafe plus the bakery, those are on Carson Street. Is that clear? Across, oh, yes. across from the zoo. Look. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. On the next block, this is a block, block, 
block. Okay. This is a block. One block, two blocks, three blocks, four, five blocks, six blocks, seven blocks, eight blocks, nine blocks. Clear? Yes. You have gas station? Yes. The police office or department you had the cinema and you also have the pet shop okay on the third block you have this one how do you call this one is that a playground You have here a restaurant, okay? And you also have here the post office, post office, restaurant, post office, okay? And here you had the zoo, you also had the hotel, Pipsa, restaurant, the ice cream restaurant. You also had a store and green, green what? Green grocer. Okay. You have here the hospital and the airport. And this one is, of course, the school. Here you have the supermarket and you have the drugstore. So here you have Carson Street. This is Carson Street, okay? You have Pine Street, those are Pine Street. And you have the, the avenues. This is the second avenue. And this is the third avenue. So let's say that I want that I'm here at the supermarket and I want to move from the supermarket to the bank. If I ask you, how do I get to the bank? What will be your answer? Nelson. What at from Pierce Avenue? And, uh, this is the supermarket. Okay. How do I get to the bank? If I'm here, I'm in the supermarket. How do I get to the bank? Look at this. This is my car. Boom, boom. Okay. And here you have the bank. What would be your answer? How do I get to the supermarket? I mean, to the bank from the supermarket. Go up. Go up on Third go, Avenue. Go up mm -hmm. Third Avenue. Okay. I'm to make it no less. Yes. Go up on Third Avenue. Uh-huh. And left then on. turn left or turn, turn right? Turn left. Turn, turn right. right. Turn right. Right. Here. Turn right on Carson Street. Here. Turn right. Mira para donde me lleva. I know. Turn, turn left, turn left. Qué malo este left, GPS. Left. <laughs> Sorry. Turn okay. Left. Uh -huh. Carson Street. Okay, turn, turn left, left 
on Carson, Carson Street. Street. Uh, how many blocks? On the plot. In two. the two. two. One. one. In the one. Uh -huh. And go one block. It is on the corner on of. On the corner of Carson Street and Second Avenue. And Second Avenue. Yay. Across and that is from the south. Across from the zoo. Or. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Across from the and next to the coffee. Next to the police station. Excellent. Great. Easy. And next to you, Carson. And next to and next to you, coffee restaurant. Okay. Great. Easy or difficult? A little difficult. Uh, more or less. Little difficult. Ok. <laughs> Pero este yes. Waze, este Waze me llevaba por otro lado. Sorry. <laughs> ok. Es que como yo soy zurdo, no fundo de dirección, sorry. It's the same I'm sorry? In the real life, it's the same. Lo pierde a uno. Ok. <laughs> Um, let's see if I'm in the airport. Okay, I'm in the airport. Okay, this is the airport. How do I get to the uh, restaurant, hamburger restaurant? And that's going to be answered by Berosli. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para llegar dónde? To the hamburger restaurant. Ah, is um, from the airport. On the on the Charles Avenue. Mm, no. Go one block or go straight ahead on Pine Street. Turn left and go up. Look, this is the airport. Okay. How do I get to the hamburger restaurant? Go straight ahead on Pine Street and go one block. Turn left on 3rd Avenue and go up one block. The restaurant is on Carson Street. Okay. Across from the stadium next to the post office. Thank on the you. corner of the ice cream restaurant. Ajá. Corner of the esquina opuesta. Ah. Corner cor of the esquina opuesta. On the corner of. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. On the corner of. Ice cream. Restaurants. Okay. So I'm here in the bank. And I would like to go to the school. What will be your direction, Heriberto? Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. hey. Give me your direction. Go, go one, the Carson Street, turn, um, go along, go along or go straight, better recto, go, go along, go along or go, go straight, go straight ahead 
on Carson Street. Drive one block or walk one block. Uh huh. And then go. Espérenme go que, que yo me vine me vine en sentido contrario. Gran multa me van a poner. <laughs> Porque tengo que manejar a la derecha aquí. Va. Ok. Va, aquí. Y me vengo acá. Y acá tengo la escuela. Ajá. What will be your direction? I'm go. in the bank and I want to go to the school. Ok. Go. I strike. Go straight. Go straight ahead. Ahead. On Carson Street. In Car on Carson Street. Try one block. Try one block in Tom. Tom right. On Third Avenue. Tom right uh, Three Avenue. Mm -hmm. And go down. Go go down. One block. One block. Mm -hmm. And there is the school. One block and there is school. Across from the supermarket. Across from the supermarket. In... Sorry, Across next from... to the... Ah, oh, see. Across from the supermarket on 3rd Avenue. And across, across from, from the, supermarket. the store. On Pine Street. Or on the street. Mm -hmm. On Pine, Pine Street. Okay. Let's see. I'm in the drugstore. Miriam, how do I get to the zoo? If a zoo... ¿Cuál otro marido, teacher? Perdón. I'm on the drug store. How do I get to the zoo? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, but Osley, I'm in the drug store. How do I get to the zoo? Yo me pierdo en español y en inglés también. Ah, uh, come on. You need to try. <laughs> Ay, hombre. Um, go on the, the Phoenix Street. Mm. Long. Go straight oh, ahead okay. on Pine Street. Um, Drive and, uh, one block. Uh, and, uh, oh, two blocks, actually. Two blocks. One block, two blocks. Mm -hmm. um, long. ¿Cómo digo recto? Go straight ahead or go along. Go along Pine along. Street. Mm -hmm. um, across the airport and okay. hospital. It is across from the airport on Pine Street. Uh -huh. And across from the hotel, hotel. on Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. El teacher, y go up, no se puede decir, suba. ¿Cómo? ¿A dónde? Go up. Como ahí le está diciendo de que, que suba y que para la izquierda. No mm. se puede decir go, go up. Go up, pero si, si me va, digamos de que yo vengo manejando acá, va. Uh -huh. Siempre manejamos al lado derecho. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí está para arriba, go up. Ah, para abajo. Y acá, go para down. Para abajo. Para abajo no puede decir. No, porque si, si vengo yo acá manejando ah, en mi derecha. Botón. 
si vengo manejando Ajá, en mi sí, derecha sí. y me voy para acá, me voy para el hospital. Sí, es cierto. Ajá. Entonces, aquí no va a ir ni abajo ni arriba. Viene recto, ¿ve? Aquí viene recto. ¿ve? Y está on the right. On the right. On the right. On the right. Across on the from the right. airport and the hospital. Clear. Miren que mejor manzanitas no, le no les he podido traer. Go up. Go along. Pay street. Uh -huh. Okay, let's okay. listen to another one. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm on the stadium. Okay. And I want to go to, I want to go to the cafe. Let's listen to Jenny. What will be your direction? Ah, no, ya no quiero ir al cafe. Me quiero ir al aeropuerto. ¿Cómo llego? Esa es mi, mi ruta. Any volunteer? Alejandro. No, no ask. Carson Street. Vaya aquí, ve. Carson Street. Um, Vamos a ver si la puedo responder ya. Vaya, vos hacete como que, como que vas manejando un carro. So right. Ok. Uh, let's, oh. listen, let's listen to... Um, Let's see, Gabriel, ready? Okay. Okay, Gabriel, let's see. Go up. Uh -huh. Okay, go straight ahead on Carson Street. Mm -hmm. And How one many blocks? Block, no. One block. And turn left. Try two blocks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two blocks. Uh, Go turn. straight ahead. Two blocks on Carson Street. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go straight ahead. Two blocks on Carson Street. Uh -huh. uh, turn left. On Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. How many blocks? Uh, one block. Down or up? Uh, down. Down. Go down. down. Go down. One block one on block. Second Avenue. Uh -huh. Yes. And turn right. Mm -hmm. One block on Pine Street. Yes. On the left or on the right? What is the airport? Uh, on the left. It on is the on left. the left. Excellent. Uh -huh. left. Great. Easy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. The last one. I want to listen to, let's see, Nelson. Go ahead. I'm in the cafe. Okay. okay. And I want to go to, let's see. I would like to go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drive straight to block. No. Go okay. straight ahead. Go straight on ahead. Carson Street and drive 
two blocks. Oh, is there a head? Carson Street, right, 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 two blocks. Mm -hmm. um, and good down. Mm -hmm. Tears Avenue. Mm -hmm. Two block. Go down on, or go down one block on Third Avenue. Go down, no, serían, serían dos. Go down two blocks. Okay. Go down two blocks to your avenue. Mm -hmm. It is on the right or on the left? On the right. No. On the right. No. Así que, uh, imagínate que vas manejando un carro, ¿para dónde agarraras? Si vas a agarrar a la derecha, te metes a la escuela. On the left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Great job. Great job. Okay, the last one. I need a volunteer. Uh huh. Volunteer. A volunteer. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I'm in the airport and I want to go to the okay. post office. How do I get there? Post office? Mm -hmm. Ah, the Carson Street? Yeah. Well, do you do you walk um for the Pine Street? One block, so toward this Twist Avenue and work right. Um, okay, one more time. Okay. I'm in the airport and I want to go to the post office. The post office, okay. Um. Do you need ride to the Pine Street? Mm-hmm. And toward the Dirty Avenue? Mm-hmm. And go to right on Carson Street. Mm, okay. So so huh? <laughs> más o menos te entendí. Pero sí, right. más o menos, más o menos. Cinco de días te voy a dar. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't mute. Difficult, easy, or what do you think? Hello? Hello? Easy, difficult? Well, what for me, think? it's very difficult, so. Difficult. difficult. Very difficult. Very difficult. difficult. For me, hard. Very hard. <laughs> very hard. Okay. Um, we're going to continue practicing. Don't worry. Mm. Let's uh, complete the last task. And it says, reading a woke up Fifth Avenue. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and play it. Oh, the light of glow. Oh. I think it's loading. <laughs> Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. Oh, it's very handsome. We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. 
Start your tour at the Empire State Building on 5th Avenue between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. Now walk up 5th Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on 5th Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Okay, guys. I hope that you have taken some notes, okay? We're going to continue practicing on Monday, all right? I just want to give you one minute to ask questions. Questions, one minute, any volunteer? Estaba bien fácil, ¿verdad? Super explicado, la verdad. Me, no, me gusta no. mucho la forma en la que usted nos explica. Se le agradece eso porque no todos los maestros lo hacen. Ah, ok. Me, agra eh, me alegro de eso. No, no tiene lo mismo, Ticha. Ok, gracias. En el segundo me quedé con muchos vacíos. Ah, ok. Bueno, agradezco sus comentarios. Créanme que, este, bueno, la, le voy a comentar un, así rapidito. La primera vez que yo di este tema fue allá por 2019. No quiero ver. No, 2019 estábamos en pandemia. 2016. Y créanme que hasta yo me quedé así como que, ¿cómo les explico esto a los alumnos? Porque no es lo mismo decir, vas a llegar a la tienda o a la esquina y ya, que decirlo en inglés, porque hay que enseñar las preposiciones y todo. Y si se fijaron, les traje imágenes y todo. Entonces me las ingenié a como pude y el grupo lo entendió todo correcto. Entonces, pero sí, fue bien retador el, la primera vez que yo enseñé este tema. Porque en la universidad, les soy honesto, no me lo enseñaron. Entonces, si no te enseñaron algo, ¿cómo tú lo vas a enseñar? Entonces, tuve que aprenderlo, como quien dice, por intuición, ¿verdad? Pero, este, sí, me alegro que este, al, la mayoría que les hice preguntas sí lograron entender. Yo sé que no es un tema... De, bueno, sí es fácil cuando ya dominas el idioma, pero cuando se empieza es un poquito confuso. Pero si pones en práctica todo lo de las preposiciones de lugares y te dirigís por las direcciones, y más si, si se trata de explicar así con imágenes y todos, se hace bastante fácil. Vamos a practicar el lunes, no se preocupen. Eh, también les voy a mandar otro video de refuerzo y espero que este, le entiendan un poco más. Vaya, no les quito más de su okay. tiempo. Los que no han cenado... Eh, feliz provecho y los que van a descansar sábado y domingo feliz weekend and see you on Monday bye 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 bye